Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It's going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post every single Wednesday where I talk over new makeup releases. I chat about what has me the most interested, what I'm planning to pick up, and also what I am planning to pass over. I will link my playlist down below. We are inching closer to episode... 200 i completely missed when i did episode 100 so i'm planning to i don't know celebrate or do something fun when we get to number 200 which we're almost there i will also link the community playlist i started this so any creator who makes a style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to see what a bunch of different creators are thinking about the new releases so uh why don't we go ahead and jump into today's video so i did film this eye look for Instagram. If it's not up yet, I don't know if it's going to be up by the time this video goes up. If it is, I will have it linked down below. If not, I'll just link my Instagram and it'll be coming soon. I did pick up the Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona Love Palette over the weekend. I had a little day date with my husband and we did some shopping and I really wanted to swatch the palette and just kind of see what I thought about it. And I swatched it and there was only one palette left in my store at Sephora and I was like, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I had been meaning to order it online. I meant to order it actually before I went on my Vegas trip and I just forgot. And then I wasn't sure. And then I was watching some other reviews, but I don't know. I've seen, I have seen a few mixed reviews, but I feel like I've seen a lot of people who I feel like kind of have the same preferences as me give it a good review so i decided to go ahead and grab it so i did this look today uh, i knew i wanted to wear my new shirt i have a new clothing haul up on my channel too and this just felt very valentine's day e and that is soon approaching so i wanted to do a look that would kind of match the shirt and so far so good so again i will have that little tutorial up on my instagram i am also using some new products on my face that i used in last friday's uh, Ulta haul and try on video and I'm just I just I Don't know. I don't feel like the Milani foundation does anything Nice for my skin. I wasn't sure how I felt about it in Friday's video And then I wore it again today, you know trying to get a review on the new screen queen foundation and I'm just like I'm just like not sure that I love it, but I really like how the eyes came out so There's that but okay, let's go ahead and jump into the new releases. I feel like I feel like I have quite a bit of skincare to talk about today, so let's start it off with that. This one just got posted not too long ago. Uh, I do read off the Trend Mood 1 Instagram, so I do always link her in my description box. And a lot of people started tagging me on this new Milk Makeup release. So they are coming out with an addition to their Vegan Milk family. This is the Vegan Milk Cleanser. It's a gentle yet effective sulfate-free cleanser formulated with a blend of vegan milks to wash away dirt, impurities, and makeup without stripping skin. Trim Moon's post says it's fragrance-free and best for normal to dry skin types. I'm going to go ahead and say that's fragrance-free. Fragrance-free, uh, best for normal to dry skin types, good for sensitive skin. It's $30. So it has desert milk to hydrate and help skin stay moisturized, fig milk to soften, soothe, and refresh, oat milk to calm and comfort, and argan milk to seal seal the deal on hydration and helps provide antioxidant protection it's going to be available tomorrow i'm filming this on monday so it should be available now i will have it linked down below also at available also available at sephora and february 21st in stores okay i'm definitely curious about this one i really like the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer i wasn't really sure and i i I thought it was an interesting release when the moisturizer came out, but I was like, uh, I don't know. I did end up getting it sent to me from Milk Makeup. I hadn't received any. I used to be on Milk's PR, but after I moved, it, they stopped coming, which I know that happens. And if you can't get, you know, someone to update your address with, it just kind of stops. So that moisture, moisturizer was actually the first product that I received to my new house. And I was excited to try it out and I've actually ended up loving it. It's what I use every single morning. It's a really thick, like rich moisturizer, but especially because I've been having dehydrated skin and especially in this Midwest winter, um, my hands are, oh, just like my hands. I keep trying to put lotion on my hands all day because I just feel like they're gonna like crack off. But I feel like that moisturizer is just key for me right now. So I am curious to try this one. I do like that it is a fragrance free, you know, $30 for a cleanser that can be a little more expensive. And I have purchased some skin, like some new skincare recently. So I don't know if I really want to be running out at this moment to purchase even more. I did buy the new Ulla Henriksen 
cleanser that came out in like their truth line i believe it is and then also the youth to the people superfood cleanser that's what i've been trying the most right now uh because i seem to be really liking that one so i don't know if i need to run out and grab it if i end up getting it sent to me which again i i i don't know uh, i don't get like shipping emails or anything like that so i'm not really sure if I do, I would probably try it just to test it out, but especially because I did just buy some new skincare and I really want to get a review on that Youth to the People cleanser because so many people recommended that to me. So I really want to try that for a while and have it be, you know, kind of my main cleanser. But this is one that I think that I'm going to highlight at Sephora, like add it to my loves list. And if I start seeing a lot of people really enjoying it, it's just because I love that moisturizer so much that when I saw this, my eyes immediately kind of lit up and I was like, ah, oh, cleanser. I have so many cleansers right now. Like I don't want to constantly be introducing new products in my skin. So, but I am curious about that one. Let's see some new products from Bosha and also that these are going to be in the next trend mood box. So to talk about the Bosha products first, we have new serums. One is a vitamin C with caviar lime booster serum. It says your daily dose of powerful 10% vitamin C complex works to effectively brighten and reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation. This is going to be $46. And then also we have the vitamin B12 hydration booster serum, intensely hydrating, a perfectly pink vitamin b12 is infused with moisture rich oils like apricot kernel oil and sweet almond oil to help smooth revitalize and to help smooth okay to help smooth i'm gonna make up my own words here because i think that's what it needs to help smooth and revitalize the look of skin and improve the tone and texture uh let's see that one is also going to be 46 dollars. so i have tried a couple products from bosha i wouldn't say that you know, when it comes to skincare, I definitely have my brands that I go back to time and time again. I definitely have my products that I continue to repurchase, continue to want in my collection. Bosha isn't one of those. Like, I like some of their products. I don't like some of their products, but I really have I don't think I've found anything from Bosha that I'm like, that's a holy grail. Something I always need. Like, this line just gets me speaks to me i think both products sound nice uh, you know essentially you have your vitamin c serum and then a vitamin b12 um, serum that's really good for hydration both sound nice like i love having vitamin c in my skincare uh routine i have been using the niacinamide serum from the ordinary and when i was doing some research on it i saw a lot of people say and people were even saying this in my comments that you're you don't want to use niacinamide and vitamin c like in the same routine like they switch they suggest like alternating days so i've really been focusing on the niacinamide because it helps with like acne and congestion and that was something that i was really dealing with so i was really kind of like going in with the niacinamide serum in my am routine and i feel like i can notice a difference that i've cut back on vitamin c like i can see a difference in my skin because of it so i want to get back into like skincare can just be such a hard thing especially when you are having skin issues it can be hard to like figure out the right balance and you don't want to overuse products but you also don't want to use products that you shouldn't use together like i mean i feel like this is probably going to sound obvious but Skincare is very scientific and trying to make everything work together and then work for your particular skin needs, work for your diet, work for any health issues that you have going on. It can just be a lot going on. Um, so I definitely need to figure out how to get my vitamin C back in while using the niacinamide. If anyone has suggestions like to use the vitamin C at night, I don't know, let me know. But I have been really liking the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum for sure. So probably going to skip over these ones um, from Bosha just because I, I feel like I'm pretty cool right now but to, to touch on the trend mood box this is going to be the third one um all i see right now is a coming soon so we've had a few uh releases that we've seen are coming in the next trend mood box it doesn't look like we have the full box yet and we don't have the date or the price the prices will be different on each of the different boxes so it's not like your ipsy or boxy charm where it's you know every single month it's going to be the same set price it is going to differ per launch so uh, i did get confirmation from trend mood herself that she has added she manually added my email to their email list because i was having some issues with the second box which i really 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 wanted that second box and i wasn't able to get it i wasn't able to have them accept my email because kind of how it was how it was rolling with the trend mood boxes is that you would sign up for to get this kind of early access email and then once you got that 
you know, you would like follow the link that you get to your email and you would get to purchase the box before it went live for like everyone else. Uh, but because my email wasn't accepted, then by the time the box did go live, it sold out in like two minutes or something like that. And it was kind of crazy, but I have heard them say also that they are going to have stock uh, available for those specifically who are also not signed up on the email. So if you still enter in your email address on the Trendman Box website, I will have it linked in my description box, of course, you should get the early access email. But even if you don't, you should still be able to go on the website. Again, I don't know how fast it will sell out this time and all of that. But I have seen that they're going to do it a little bit differently, which I, I think that that's really good. So think that we'll have a few more uh, new releases coming from that one so I'll definitely be keeping my eye on that uh, also from good molecules they're coming out with more and more new products so this is a brand by Beautylish Beautylish is an online retailer and so they have kind of underneath their umbrella they have the good molecules brand they are coming out oh this is also gonna be in the trend mood box I must have missed that but this is also gonna be in the trend mood box okay uh, these are the caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches. So we have 1% of caffeine helps instantly create a firmer eye area designed to have results in about 10 minutes. It's a great pick me up in the morning while prepping skin for makeup. So it's good for deep puffing. Um, let's see. There is also aloe and hyaluronic acid to instantly hydrate and soothe the tired skin resulting in more refreshed eyes. So it is going to be $18 for 60 patches or 30 pairs. It will be available February 18th online at Beautylish, and then these are going to be in the Trendwood box too. So I used to do eye gels a ton. Like my morning routine included eye gels, and then somewhere along the way, I just kind of stopped doing it. Like I used to use the ones from Patchology truly on a daily basis. Like I would sit at my computer and start things up, and slap on my eye patches and I just I don't know why I maybe I ran out I don't think I ran out. I think I still have some but I don't know why I stopped doing that do you guys use eye patches maybe I should start again because I feel like I've been noticing especially on I think it's my left eye I feel like I've been noticing the lines more and it's like you know we've entered into February which means that next month's <laughs> which means that next month is my birthday and I don't know I love birthdays. I'm really excited for this birthday too because I'm really excited for things that are coming up, okay? Like, I'm just really excited. I feel like this birthday, oh my gosh, I want to cry just saying, I, I, I'm not even saying anything. I'm just saying that this could be the best birthday and I literally want to freaking cry. But I feel like this birthday is going to be so cool and so exciting and I can't wait. But also, it's like, I'm going to be 33. You know? It's just like, whoa. But then I'm like, you know what? Did you see Shakira and J-Lo at the halftime show? Like, okay, okay. What, Jennifer Lopez is 50? Shakira, I think, is 43? Like, okay, I'm fine. I'm good. I should ask them if they use eye patches. See what they have to tell me. Let me know if you guys um, use them. I just, I feel like I wouldn't purchase these because I don't use them in my routine right now. And I'm sure I still have some from Pageology. So, uh, but that is also going to be in the Trend Mood box. And then I see that we have a new Fix Plus coming from MAC. So I feel like MAC is really well known for their Fix Plus sprays. I've purchased several of them myself. It was one of the first products that I ever purchased from MAC because I saw everybody on YouTube using this spray and I thought it was like, I felt like if you were a makeup lover, like you had to have Fix Plus in your collection. So it's one of the first things I bought from MAC. All right. This is the Fix Plus Magic Radiance Spray, an all-day hydrating spray with vitamin C. So all I see right now is coming soon. I don't see the price on it, but I'm assuming it would be the regular price of the Fix Plus, which just escaped me. I think it's in the 20s, I believe. The full size runs for, it looks like $28. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what this one will be. So I like that it says that it's an hydrating spray, uh, especially because I'm, I'm usually either dry or have dehydrated skin. So I like the idea of like a hydrating boost if I'm looking like I'm feeling a little bit dry or a little bit scaly, like it'll be nice to, to spray on my face. The vitamin C, I'm not so sure about, and I was reading some of the comments, and my first thought with the vitamin C was like how much truly, because again, like I mentioned, I can tell that I'm lacking vitamin C in my skincare right now, and I was like, oh, a spray, like that'll be like convenient. But then it's like, how much vitamin C are you actually going to be getting with the spray? And how do you know, like, 
I just I'm not really sure about that uh, and then I think that you would probably want to use this as before your makeup because I'm not really sure you would want to use vitamin C after you already have makeup on I'm not I would have to look a little bit closer into that but then when I think of like the hydrating spray it makes me think of I already have my makeup on and I want to look a little bit more hydrated spray my face but then with the vitamin C I feel like I'm a little bit confuzzled over this one when I first saw it I was like "Ooh, this sounds like something I would like and then I thought about it for a second and I was like I'm not really sure and then I was reading the comments and then a few other people had questions I was like I'm gonna have to poke into this one a little bit more closer when we have you know maybe some more information and a better breakdown and all of that uh, but if you have any thoughts on that one definitely do let us know because I just wasn't just wasn't really sure there. Okay, that might be all for skincare that we have this week or like face focused products. Uh, we do have a new brand coming out. This is from Rare Beauty and this is going to be Selena Gomez's makeup line. So uh, the post on Trendwood says, looks like it'll include fragrances and skincare, makeup, nail products, hair care, body care, and more. I think that's just everything that has to go like when you're filing for the name or you know the words are escaping me right now but when you file for that I think you have to like list everything that you could potentially come out with or something um, but it says coming summer 2020 only at Sephora so you know not shocked to see a celebrity line going into Sephora I feel like that's smart it makes sense business wise and all of that um, I, I I mean I, I I know who Selena Gomez is and I, th I think some of her music is really great. I think that we all have our different celebrities that we just like really can kind of gravitate towards or like for me like I have a girl crush on Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, Blake Lively, just to name, just to name a few. Like uh, Blake Lively did a collab years ago. I think I had just started my YouTube channel and I believe it was with was it L'Oreal that they would come out with different red lipsticks with a celebrity like I remember Blake Lively I think uh, was it Jennifer Lopez I think uh, Eva Longoria had one but when I saw that Blake Lively did I immediately ran out and bought it like because that's how I am so I think a lot of people probably feel that way about Selena Gomez she I feel I feel like from what I know with what I follow, she does seem very relatable talking about some of her struggles and obviously her breakup with Justin Bieber was a really big thing. Um, but even just different diagnosis diagnoses and health problems that she's been through. And that's really great when celebrities with the big platform can open up about, um, you know, different issues like that and reassure us mere public that, you know, perfection is, is probably really not a thing, even if you are a celebrity. But, um, for me, I'll, I, I mean, I'll have to see the products. We don't know what's coming out yet. Don't know the vibe of it, the aesthetic of it, or anything like that. So I'll definitely have to keep an eye on it. But I can't say it was something right away that I was like, I'm going to be buying that first release, you know? Like, if my girlfriend Jennifer Aniston put out makeup, you know? I don't know the new girlfriend to the list. <laughs> Speaking of new brands, uh, this here is by Vanity Makeup Cosmetics is the name by vanity makeup is the instagram account um so it just says vanity makeup founder of vanity makeup cosmetics and vanity makeup school i'm not familiar with her but she has 1.4 million followers on instagram so i would assume a few people know who she is <laughs> you know um she's insanely beautiful and looks like she is coming out with sculpting palettes and it says a buttery rich texture that makes blending easy and simple. Each palette has different undertones and color variations for each skin tone. Um, three shades in each palette. These are going to be $39 each and there's going to be five different palettes. I think that's nice to see five different ones um, instead of like two or three. Uh, I think that that's a nice thing. They do, from the swatches, they appear to be, yes, they're all cream, all cream products. We have the sculpting cream, highlight cream, and glow cream. I'm not a huge cream product gal. Uh, I'm not familiar with vanity makeup myself either, like I said. Um, you know, maybe if this is something that a bunch of people start raving about, I could check it out, but honestly, I just don't use cream products a lot. I tend to prefer to stick with powders and I've added a couple cream products, uh, 
here and there to my collection and I tend to when I do declutters which I'm about to start my declutter series which is way overdue but I tend to declutter a lot of them because I just don't reach for them so I see some new releases from Real Techniques uh, looks like they have a few different brushes coming out a three-in-one adjustable blender set for foundation contour and highlight the, they have the miracle mixing sponge which is $5.99 so it's like the regular sponge but then the flat side kind of has like maybe looks like a silicone side to it so that's interesting a few different brushes but one thing that has me the um kind of most intrigued with this one is their brush cleansing balm so this is also available at Ulta. it's 8.99 it says an instant mess free solution to your brush cleaning needs easily remove buildup and residue from your brushes simply swirl and rinse use with warm water so you get the solid cleansing balm and then also the deep cleansing pad I really like products like this to clean my makeup brushes. Uh, I have like kind of similar to this like the cleansing bar from Delium Tools. I've gone through one of them and I'm about to go through a second one like my bar like the cleansing bar just broke the other day because it got so thin. Um, I use that quite a bit. I also really do like the Sig Magic from Sigma Beauty. I uh, really like that for brushes too. That's kind of, it seems like more of a similar concept to this one where it's like your, your cleansing bar and then it has kind of like the like I want to say spikes in it, but you can run your brushes through that and clean it. And I think that's really cool. So I think these are important. I mean, I feel like brush cleaning isn't something that gets talked about a lot or like hyped up a lot, but it's something that's so important. I've been trying to be really diligent in washing not only my brushes, but my sponges more. I mean, it's just, just good to do, you know, bacteria and all of that. You just want to be keeping everything clean. Um, again, like as I've been going through skin issues, definitely my sponges is something that I've been trying to clean more but even like my pillowcases too cleaning my pillowcase more flipping my pillowcase um you know flipping my pillow and all of that like you know it's the little things even like my yoga mat I do pretty good at cleaning my yoga mat but it's something that I've been trying to be even more hyper vigilant of because I mean a lot of times if I'm doing something like on my stomach and I'm laying my head on my mat I mean that can just be bacteria going onto your face from my feet from my hands from my dog walking on my mat and all of that so just a friendly reminder out there to like try to keep it clean and everything uh so I'm actually really interested in this one it's something that again like I said I don't feel like gets talked about a lot but I definitely go through these products um and I use them up and I want to repurchase them and all of that so yeah I'm definitely interested in that uh, I feel like some big news that came out this week was that Jaclyn Hill is doing another collaboration with Morphe. I can't say I'm like super stoked to see a new collab with Morphe. Uh, I was, you know, I'm someone who I like, I really try to root people on and see the best in everyone and all of that. Um, I saw, I was watching the Oscars, I'm filming this on Monday, but I was watching the Oscars last night and Waukee Phoenix's speech, like really, I was, I was getting ready for bed. I think I was brushing my teeth at the time and I saw that he won. And at one point, like I kind of went to the bathroom, grabbed my toothbrush and then I could tell that he kept talking. And so I came back out and I finished up his speech, but, um, you know, I really loved, I screenshotted it on my phone cause I shared it on Twitter. He said, that's when we're at our best, when we support each other, not when we cancel each other out for past mistakes, but when we help each other to grow, when we educate each other, when we guide each other toward redemption. And I thought that was a really true thing. We definitely live in in a time of cancel culture and all of that and um, and not even canceling people for mistakes they've made, but actively hunting and searching and trying to find what isn't good about someone what are the worst qualities in a person in a brand in a whatever it is that we can find um and that's just not that's just not a way that i prefer to live i like to find the positives it just i feel like makes me a happier person <laughs> to be honest <laughs> and all of that um so i'm always rooting people on when she went through the lipstick issues i i really wanted to see her come back and succeed I just reviewed one of our highlighters recently in my most recent makeup monthly too um, and I said I thought it was a fine highlighter I just don't really prefer loose highlights so it's not you know an absolute favorite of mine but I was excited to see Ralph that she was gonna go with her brand so when I saw the next collab with Morphe I was kind of like no like I like I want to see her you know do her own thing and and all of that so I was really hoping to see more from her brand because the lipsticks aren't available the highlighters are um, apparently limited edition they were like a holiday release and they all said limited edition I believe 
everything is still available so i was really hoping to see some more of that and um i don't know i feel like unfortunately there's just been kind of a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths when it comes to jacqueline hill and morphe so to see another one and then of course to see a new video going up essentially to announce a new collab i just Again, I want to see the best in everyone. I want to support people and I want to be positive, but sometimes I just am like, ah, <laughs> like I just wish he did things a little bit differently. Um, that being said, we have a very large eyeshadow palette coming up from Jacqueline and uh, Morphe here. So this is their round to the Jacqueline Hill palette volume two. And this is going to be $39 for, I believe it's 35 shades, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that sounds right. Close enough. Um, so this is going to be, like I said, $39 available February 13th. There's also going to be a brush set uh, available for $99 or you can get the indiv individual brushes from $4 to $24. So the brushes I'm not as much interested in right now. I just got um, the new Sephora Milk Makeup brushes and the new Sephora Makeup by Mario brushes. So pretty good there. So just speaking on the eyeshadow palette, you know, I don't want to purchase larger palettes anymore. It's just not really been my thing. Um, even when Kathleen Lights did the So Jaded palette with ColourPop, I love Kathleen Lights and I love ColourPop, but I still was like, I don't think you should do it because I don't reach into the larger palettes. So that being said, I wouldn't purchase this palette. That's just, that's a lot of shades. Uh, I do have the first Jaclyn Hill palette. I do also have the Vault collection. I have all four Vault palettes and I can see, like I can see all four of the smaller palettes in this palette and for someone who prefers smaller palettes those would make more sense for me to grab uh, i do like some of the colors in here like the purples and the pinks is beautiful but again i just bought the natasha denona love palette i also just bought the blush crush palette from ColourPop that was in last friday's Ulta try on haul as well oh so it's just not a release that i need or that i feel like fits what i want to be purchasing at this time so Again, I just, I kind of wished it would have been something a little bit different. <laughs> Let's talk about Marc Jacobs because they are coming out with some new releases. So first up, we have the Glow Away Bronzing Coconut Body Stick in three different shades. Right now, I just see coming soon. When I first saw this, I had someone uh, DM it to me in my Instagram messages. And for some reason, I thought it was like a, like a stick highlighter. And for some reason, I was like, ooh. Like what? Like I, I just said I don't really use cream products a ton, and for some reason I was like, "Ooh, cream highlight from Marc Jacobs." <laughs> Let me do a double take. I'm like, "Why? Why did you do that?" Uh, but I looked a little bit closer. It's a bronzing stick. Okay. Um, so I, I, again, I don't know what it is. So many times with Marc Jacobs, their releases just call my attention, even if it's something I don't need, or even if I see the price tag and I'm like, "There's no way." I'm like, "But should I do it?" which is how I felt about this one. Again, I don't see the price on this one. I'm sure it'll be more expensive because it's Marc Jacobs. I probably don't need it because I probably won't use it a lot, but for some reason it called my attention. And then also they are coming out with the new Hydrating Coconut Lip Oil. This is $29. It looks like maybe there's gonna be some different shades or maybe just a clear one. It doesn't say for sure in the trend mood uh, post. It says an ultra nourishing lip oil with five forms of coconut and vitamin E for instant and all day hydration. This is going to be $29. I probably don't need this. I use my Kopari Lip Glossy as my as like, kind of like my lip treatment in the morning. And I really like that. And I think that one's like $13. So I would continue to repurchase that. Um, so I probably don't need this one. But for some reason the bronzer just called to me more. Which is who knows why. Uh, okay, I think we are just about done. Uh, Beauty Blender is coming out with their Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. In 40 shades, meant to be used as a full coverage concealer. It contains hyaluronic acid. Will be available February 10th online and also at Sephora. So I haven't tried the foundation. I'll be honest, Beauty Blender isn't a brand that really kind of gets me going. I mean, I've tried the Beauty Blender before, but... I don't know they're just kind of one of those brands that just don't really excite me a lot i didn't try the foundation i know there was a controversy with their foundation as well but i didn't try it myself um and i can't say i want to run out and get the concealer i did pick up the new elf concealer the hydrating concealer that was also in last friday's get ready with me i have it on today the camo um concealer i did exchange it i was having some issues with shades so when i was 
gone over the weekend, I did pop into an Ulta. I exchanged my KKW Beauty lip liner. I went from too dark to, I think, too light. <laughs> so there's that. And then I also exchanged the e.l.f. concealer, which once again, I think we went from too dark to too light, but I was trying to work with what was in store. Um, so yeah, I don't feel like I need this concealer. And then I think the last thing that we have to talk about is from Estee Lauder. This is their Bronze Goddess 2020 collection. It's available at Nordstrom. We have the Bronze Goddess Azure Summer Look Eyeshadow Palette for $55 with nine shades. The Bronze Goddess Highlighting Powder Gelée, $45 in uh, three different shades. The Bronze Goddess Creme de Soleil Decadent Smoothing Body Creme, $55. Ooh, okay. It says a luxurious body creme that drenches skin and moisture and the alluring velvety scent of Bronze Goddess. I will say, like, some of these products do look really beautiful. Like, the highlights, for sure, I feel like those look stunning. But sometimes Estee Lauder kind of reminds me a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury with the pillow talk. Estee Lauder with the Bronze Goddess. Because they have so many Bronze Goddess products and collections that it's like, wait, what? Because so, when I saw Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, I was like, I feel like I've already touched on this. I have a Bronze Goddess eyeshadow palette. I have a Bronze Goddess um, bronzer from Estee Lauder. So, but it's Bronze Goddess 2020, all right? Um, the eyeshadow palette doesn't really intrigue me that much. It says for summer to, I don't know, I don't know, it doesn't super scream summer to me. The highlight I think looks the most beautiful, but I don't feel like I would need it at this time and they are a little bit more expensive. Um, definitely that smoothing body creme just sounds amazing, but I can probably say no to that. Uh, and then let me just do a quick peek. I think that is everything that I have to chat about this week. So that is where I'm going to wrap up this week's of Will I Buy It video. A new phone and I feel like it's like giant. Look at it compared to the Love Palette. This is the biggest phone ever. So woo. New phone love. Okay. Uh, anyways, that is where I'm going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy It video. Let me know what you thought of everything that I mentioned. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Uh, other than that, though, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video.